Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Try to smuck across the globe. Look at the short term trend live with Oscar's weekend webinar. Traders, this webinar is for Saturday, 2 1409. As I tell you in each one of my weekend webinars, I like to use this time with the weekend webinars to keep us all in focus with the larger picture. We're day traders, as you know, so we're in and we're out at the end of each day. Sometimes we'll get in twice in a day. On a good day, we'll trade three times, but we're not extremely active. We don't jump in and out like crazy, but we are day traders. So sometimes you can get caught up in the day trades and not realize what the larger picture is. In these weekend webinars, I like to make you step up a little bit and get a bird's eye view, sort of seeing which path is in the forest, which direction it's going, so we can navigate through the trees. With that in mind, traders, uh, you know, I've done many videos with you about head and shoulders formations, and there was a point in time last year, mid-07, last year, year and a half, right, almost two years ago, mid-07, and I started showing you video after video about head and shoulders formations and that we were topping out in the stock market. In fact, I got so adamant about you realizing what these head and shoulders meant, I came in on one of my videos with a bottle of head and shoulders and I said, look, traders, this market is dandruff. You can go back and see some of them. But here we are today, 2009, and boy, oh boy, traders, these head and shoulders are showing up all over the map, especially in the indice markets. Now, back in 07, when I recognized that it looked like we were going to hit the highs, I did a YouTube video. I think the date was, well, it was in July. I'll give you the date before the video is over. In July of 07, I did a video and I said, traders, I can't tell you where it's going after this except for down. But the high will likely be 1277, and then we will crap out. We will trade, uh, excuse me, 1577, and then the top will be in. We were trading somewhere in the 1400s when I gave you that video, if I remember correctly. Lo and behold, we went up that year, about four or five months after I did that video, and we tagged the number 1576, and we broke down from then on. During that period, why I'm bringing this up, I was doing those webinars and I was showing you the head and shoulders formations and they have to crack this market. It's what they mean. All right, so let's bring us back to today. Now we're here, Feb 2009, and traders, I'm gonna show you some charts in a couple of moments and I think when you're done looking at these charts, you will realize a couple of things going on here. Repetitive patterns, are really reliable traders. Many of you Omniacs who come to my site, who come to my lessons, who are in the chat rooms, you have seen many, many times I've showed you a pattern. I showed you what will likely happen when we break or breach that pattern, and then it would work out, and then I would show you that same pattern again in another video weeks later when it reformed, and we would break out once again in the direction that we thought it would go in. Repetitive patterns are literally a roadmap to where markets are going next. Of course, the charts themselves are really the roadmap, but those repetitive patterns can really help you figure out if you should be long or short for a quick move. Head and shoulders formations are abound. They are all over the S&P charts. They're over the NASDAQ charts. You can see them on the Dow Jones, on the transports. You can see them in the DAX. You can see them in the FTSE. You can even see them in the Hang Seng Index. They're all over the place, and you'll see that. I'm only going to show you U.S. markets in this video, but once you've seen the video, go compare to the market of your choice and see if you cannot find that. Lower prices to come. All right, there's a question mark there because, look, we're humans, right? We couldn't possibly know 100% for sure if we're going to go lower. And imagine if we could. Could you imagine if we knew tomorrow for sure we were going lower? It'd be the last trade we'd ever have to do, right? So no one knows for sure if we're actually going to go up or down. But if you do your homework correctly and you follow the technical analysis and the lessons we give you at the Omni Trading Academy, I can assure you of this, you'll have a much better gauge on what very well likely will happen in the short term and the long term. Where short term traders, usually the videos are for short term, this one's for slightly longer term. Let's go look at some charts now, traders, and I will try to explain what I'm speaking about, make this whole point make sense to you. Let's go look at some charts, traders. Okay, traders, I'm going to take you back in time now. We are looking at the S&P 
through the period of July through December 2007. Traders, on July 12th of 2007, I did a YouTube video. We were here somewhere. I did a YouTube video and I said, traders, we will likely see 1577 for the high of this market. Right here is 1576. It took about four months to get there, maybe five, but we got there and we dropped. Now, what made me realize that, traders? Head and shoulders formation, right? We had a shoulder, a head, and a shoulder. Inside of the left shoulder was an inverted head and shoulders. Then you had a head with a little upright head and shoulders. That dropped down into another shoulder, the right shoulder, which also had a head and shoulders in it. You get it now? Head and shoulders, head and shoulders. So I started ranting and raving to you about these head and shoulders. And I claimed this would make the market break down severely. After we started to come out of this shoulder, of course, we also had a, an apex, which we broke down from. So here you are, an inverted head and shoulders into a head with a head and shoulders in it. Then the right shoulder forms with another head and shoulders in it through the apex. And where do we go, traders? We go from 1576 down to 1270. 1270. If that's not technical analysis giving you a roadmap, then I think you need to call the to go get yourself another prescription of glasses here because you can see that very easily. It's clear head and shoulders formations within a larger head and shoulders, and then we break down. So that was the period of July through December of 2007. So that was the chart that got me hot on this market, certainly being topped out. We called for the top, it happened. We said the head and shoulders would be quite bearish. Down they went. You know, I had many, many traders writing to me and telling me I was a kook and a loon and the market's still bullish. I follow technical analysis, not what I think, not what I hope for. I follow the analysis in a pure form. This gave us the top. That's 2007. Now I'm going to take you a little more forward or towards today's date, and I'm going to show you what happened next in the S&P. Okay, traders, now we are looking at the dates between Feb 08 and September 08 in the S&P. Back here is the last head and shoulders you just seen and the big drop down. Then we rolled into another, and what happens? Left shoulder has it inverted. Right shoulder has an upright, or excuse me, the head has an upright head and shoulders within the head. We come down, we make the right shoulder, we break out of an apex, and we drop all the way down to the 740s. All the way down to the 740s. The top of that head was in the 1400s, traders. So, we put the first one in which topped us out, we had the call right, the analysis was correct, it knocked us down. Then we get into 208 and we get the same V-shape or inverted head and shoulders in the left shoulder. We get an upright head and shoulders in the head. We build a right shoulder and we break down through the apex and go all the way down to the 740s. So that was between Feb 08 and September 08. And each one of these charts traders has been brought to you live in a YouTube video before the breakdowns with the same prediction. So it's not as if I'm bringing charts to you now and saying, see what happened in the past, told you it would have worked, not our story here, traders. We show these things to you before they develop so that it gives you a good handle on what may happen next. So you see the first head and shoulders that dropped, that topped us off at the 1576 mark, right? That brought us down here, we bounced back up and made this head and shoulders, which smashed us down to the 740s. Now we're going to look at the chart and where we are today. And I think you're going to see very similar charts. You are going to see this formation on the left. You're going to see head and shoulders within the head and shoulders. And you're going to see the possibility that we're going to come down once again. Let's look at today's chart, traders. All right, traders, here we are today. This is the period between November 08 and Feb 09, where we are right now. This is Friday. Traders, we are building another one of those head and shoulders and an inverted head and shoulder in the left shoulder. Does anyone find that familiar here? Yes. Is this looking yes. familiar? Do we see yes. a pattern? I see a pattern. If you don't, I do. So let's see what happens here. All right. 
So we have the inverted head and shoulders inside the left shoulder. Then we come up here and put in a head, and you can almost make a case for another head and shoulders right there. Then we put in a right shoulder. In this right shoulder, you have not one, but two upright head and shoulders formations. And on top of that, you are about to break out of an apex. Traders, this is clearly pointing towards the downside. The last two formations that look just like this were extremely bearish. And here we are again. Look at the similarity. Look at this shoulder off to the left. Just like the other two. It starts with an inverted. Then it puts in an upright. Then the whole thing turns out to be a head and shoulders. And then we break down to the next level. Now, months and months ago, I gave a projection of 688. I didn't know if we would penetrate that and go even further, but I gave a projection of 688, and that's when we went all the way down and did that 740 drop. I did that projection inside of that past head and shoulders. Gave a projection of 688. We dropped from the 1200s to 740. You know, that's kind of close, in my opinion. So it is working, and the analysis is clearly pointing towards more downside. Can you get a little rally first? Well, of course, nothing. No markets ever just go straight down. But after having this big drop, we've already had a bit of a rally here. And it fails every time it tries to stick its head up. It just fails once again. So traders, I urge you to do your own homework. See if you can spot these head and shoulders formations. Look back in 07, look at 08, and now look here at 09. And I think you will find that this is certainly a precursor to more downward action. Do your own homework, traders. We'll compare notes at the site. So, traders, you see those charts? I mean, look, head and shoulders are all over those charts. The whole thing is a head and shoulders. You have head and shoulders within the head and shoulders. And, you know, once again, like I said in my last video last year or in 07, when we topped out, this market has dandruff. It is going to go down. You know, the news, I have been reading news as everybody else does. The news is horrid out there, traders. European news is worse than the United States right now. And that is certainly going to, you know, it's going to give us a lot of pressure on the downside. There's no way the U.S. market's just going to take off and go up without the rest of the world beginning to heal with us. So I think if you use technical analysis like I've just shown you, you have some downside coming, traders. Will it rally first? Well, that's always a possibility. But how about this? Coming into last week, that's two weeks ago leading up to last week, everyone on the street was bullish traders. Everybody was looking for the upside. The Obama news was coming out. Everyone was expecting higher. I stood right in front of you in front of this camera, and I said, no way, don't do it. We're coming down from the head and shoulders, and this thing's going to break down. And then I showed you that the last time we had a stimulus package released or passed by the government, we dropped five to 700 points. Well, what happened when this one got released? We dropped 400 points, traders. That is telling you repetitive patterns are reliable. So do your homework on those patterns. And if you would like to learn how to do technical analysis the way I am showing you here on this board and in this video, you come on down to www.livewithoscar.com. Grab yourselves a free membership. Come in my chat rooms and I assure you I will do everything I can to make you a better trader, a better analyst, and to teach you the proper mentality required to execute these trades and stay in long enough to take some profit and run. You also need to know the proper mentality required to let your stop get hit and take a loss if that's what's going to come of that trade. You cannot have winners without losers. Winning and losing is an integral part of trading. So that's what our stops are for, traders. This analysis can help you decide which direction you want to be in for the day or the week or the month, but we're day traders for now. And it will show you where your stop should go. And if a stop gets hit, so be it. You're out and on to the next trade. All right, traders. Guys, anything else you want me to say in this video? Because, um, frankly, it's hot in this room. We're good? All good. All good. Anything All from good. your side? All right, traders. Give us a call, Darren and I, anytime. 702-629-4755. Don't forget, always do your homework. Never trade alone, traders. We have thousands of Omniacs that are huddled in our chat rooms. And I'll tell you what, from the replies I get from them in my emails, some of the best things they've ever done to help their trading was to grab 
was to get a, well, I guess you could say it was to get a membership at our site, but I'm not even going to say that. One of the best things that they've done was to get with a group and learn how to trade with a group. You can choose us if you'd like, but these videos are to help you become a better analyst and trader, not to drag you to my website. If you show up, fine. If not, still do your homework, traders. I will be here to teach you as often as I can. All right, traders, that's about it. I'm getting out of here. Say to Steve Sebs every morning, every afternoon, every evening, because it'll help you keep your emotions out of trading. And you know what that is? Stop soaring. Emotions are out. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.